hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajilam here thank you so much for stopping by and if this is your first time of checking out my channel please and please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to fix in your invisible zip to a ball gown so if you're interested let's move on Invisible zip here as you can see and I'll be using this to fix it okay as you can see it's different from the normal one if you're using a a butterfly sewing machine you have to get this so it will enable you to fix it okay i think this you can get this below a thousand naira you can get this okay so this is my zip here all right so first thing to do i'll iron it or i'll press it but when doing that you open it up like this this is very optional it's not a must you open it up as you can see and iron it make sure that your iron doesn't touch this area so that it will not spoil the zip okay so when you iron it it will be free for you to sew when you're sewing it you don't need to start adjusting it or open struggling with it it will be very easy so that is the importance of giving it a good press before you fix it so after that this is where I'll be fixing it on this dress. Okay, so now I will check the length of the zip. I'll just use my tape and check where I will want it to stop. Okay, so for this, I'll just want I will make it 11 inches, just one inch after your joining here, just one inch, which is 11 so i will cut that out this my zip is very long so i will just measure out 11 okay from down so this is 11 here okay but we're making it 12 to be on a safe side and i'll just cut it this is wasted so if you want to do this make sure you buy the small size of zip so that you don't waste it like this okay so now i have my zip so i'll just fix this thing first and i'll show you how to do that so now i'll take my dress now remember this is how the zip is okay and when you're doing this especially if you cut it don't forget that when you um pull it upwards the thing will spoil okay so now this is the shape of the zip all i'll do now is just to take this one this is the one i'll start with and i'll just turn it over like this and place it on the dress like so so now i'll just pin it to that end okay so i'll just pin it all around it when you reach here on the waist area make sure this come up like this okay don't let it go down this way bring it up before you pin So as you can see, I just pin it all the way down. Okay. So in case you're wondering the name of this here in Nigeria, it's called Zipper Foot. Okay. You can get it in anywhere they are selling and tailoring things here. Okay. So now I will take this to my sewing machine after fixing that. And I will run it close to this line. Okay. I just run it close i hope you can see that close to this to that end and i'll pin the other side as well so let me just run this side first so as you can see i've run it all the way down to this point okay so remember when i before doing this i moved my lining separately i did not join the lining okay so this is it 
this is it so now i will fold sorry i'll pin it on this other side as well making sure that the lining is separate okay so i'll just bring it up a little like this okay look at the way i did it so now i'll just turn it over like this and pin it as well okay so i will just pin it the same way i did on the other side okay so i'll just pin So as you can see, I've pinned it as well to that point. Okay, so I will just take it to my sewing machine. But this time around, I'll be sewing it from the down. But if you're comfortable sewing it from the up, it's up to you. But for me, I like sewing it the second part from the down. So now I'll just take this and run it. Remember the way I said, you open it up like this very close but make sure your needle doesn't touch this uh, this rough edge okay so i'll just run it quickly and show you so i have done the second part from the down okay so when you're doing this don't be in a hurry take your time because if you hurry doing this you will end up having problem on this waist and um, on this joining here whereby one will be longer than the other but when you take your time you end up having it on the same point okay so this is it here it will match very well if you take your time if you hurry about this one will be longer or shorter the, uh, than the other so the next thing now to do is to I'll open it up now this is where i'll be closing my lining so i'll now turn it over remember the lining is separate Okay, when you turn it over now, you close it up with the lining like this. Okay, I hope I'm trying to make sense here. So when you close it up with the lining now, I will now sew. Remember I left, I didn't sew up to this point. So I will now sew from here now to this point and... I will sew it together with the lining down exactly the same way I did this now. I will just, okay, let me just spin it so that you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, as you can see, I've pinned it all the way, but I stop at this point that the zip ends. That is where I stop. So now I will just take it to my machine and I will just sew from here. When I get to this point, I'll sew it close to this line. Okay, to that your zip line, I'll just sew it close. All right, so let me just do that. And I will stop at this point here where the zip ends. So let me just do that quickly and I'll show you. You can see I stopped here. So I'll do the same on the other side. Okay. Make sure you give your... Um, your dress a good weaving before doing this so this is the other side okay so i'll also pin it all the way down but i'll stop at this um, zip line here so let me just pin it first so as you can see i've pin it the same way i did on the other side okay and i stopped here so now i'll also sew from here now i will sew close to this line and stop at this um at this point where the zip ends so i'll just do that quickly okay i am done running sewing this side so that is simple as you can see it's a very simple thing to do so now i'll just turn it over to the front okay and and i will use my hand to bring it out like this okay and i'll do the same on this other side and 
that is just that so i'll zip and you will see that is very simple and easy to do okay so this is it you can see so now you can use your iron and give it a good press and you're good to go so you can see that it's very easy and simple to do okay so i believe you were able to grab one or two and i know you can do this very easy and simple you can get you can use your normal um foot so it's uh, foot to do this or you can also use the zipper foot but for me i prefer using the zipper foot because it makes it very easy and simple so that is it for today please and please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so guys i'll see you on the next one